Hey FTM Trainers Testing, my name is Luke and this week's topic is dress codes. I think I can talk quite a bit about this topic considering I went to a school which had a very strict and enforced dress code. So for those of you who don't know, I went to a private or girls boarding school in Australia and if you don't know what that's really like, think dresses and hats and blazers. So for summer, I would have to wear a blue dress and a hat. And then in winter, we had a blouse and a skirt, as well as either tights or socks and a tie. I hated the dress code. I've never really been one for dresses. I've never really enjoyed that at all, but I had no other option because I was in an all girls school. And because my school was all girls, there was no male alternative uniform. So the uniform was the uniform. And unless I wore the PE uniform, which I wasn't allowed to because you had to wear the full school uniform unless you had PE. And even when you had PE, you could wear the PE uniform in the recess before your PE slot. I couldn't just go to school wearing the PE uniform, even if I'd be more comfortable in that. I had to wear the full dress and everything like that and I really dislike that and I don't really know what the solution is for that. Over time it's got a lot better for people who are more gender non-conforming or who don't want to fit in that binary box of wearing either feminine or masculine dress codes, particularly in schools, but at the same time when it comes to a single sex school like that, I think the issue there is that for a majority of the students wearing that feminine dress code does not matter, so why would the school feel the need to make an alternative dress code for people who are more gender non-conforming or who aren't comfortable with that? I personally think that they should, I don't really like the idea of having to have a hyper-feminine uniform. I don't mind the concept of a uniform, I just think that there should be alternatives for people who aren't really into dresses, because there are lots of cis girls who don't like dresses either, and I think that there would be a lot of people who would be quite comfortable wearing a shirt and tie and shorts, or wearing shorts and a shirt. So the fact that that wasn't an option was really frustrating, but at the same time, it was a single sex school, so I understand that there was no other option. If I went to a co-ed school, I would probably fight more for wearing a male uniform or being given the opportunity to wear the non-feminine uniform. But because I didn't go to a co-ed school, I didn't have another option besides not wearing uniform, which wasn't an option. I kind of just had to stick at it and just wait until I finished which was kind of shitty. I don't really have any advice for you. If you're in a situation where you don't have an alternative and you have to wear a really feminine uniform, I don't really know what to say or how to make it better besides talking about potentially wearing the PE uniform, if there is a PE uniform, or finding some alternative. Although I know and I acknowledge that that's probably not an option for the majority of people. It wasn't an option for me. I think at least in Australia and in some parts of Australia, particularly in Melbourne, there are lots of pushes to have kids be able to wear the uniform that they would feel more comfortable with. So if there is a more masculine and a more feminine option for a uniform, you can choose which one to have. But I do know that in private schools, I don't think that it can be as regulated because at the end of the day, a private school is independent and so they can kind of make their own rules. Kids in their schools aren't protected as well as the kids in a public school, for example. Okay, hello. I don't know enough about the legislation, I'm not in school anymore, I don't wear a uniform anymore, but I do know that in most situations, at least in Australia, you can talk to someone about it, and there are things in place like anti-discrimination laws, which hypothetically should protect you, but if you're in a shitty school and people are shitty, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Talking about uniforms, I don't mind the concept of uniforms. If there is enough variety and enough choice and that a person can wear what makes them feel comfortable to some extent. I don't mind schools having uniforms, I don't mind there being feminine and masculine uniforms and people who identify in those ways to have those options. I don't think there's a problem with that inherently. I don't really understand why uniforms have to be so uniform. So many schools it's like there's a, a set female uniform and a set male uniform and it's like just mix and match it. Let guys wear skirts, let girls wear shorts. It, it doesn't really matter. And I think that definitely as time goes on, that's getting more and more socially acceptable. But I think at the moment we're still getting to that point. I feel very conflicted about it because on one hand, I hated having to wear a dress every single day and that that was my only option. If there was an option for me, great. I would have no problems with the uniform whatsoever. But at the same time, I love wearing masculine clothes and I love having opportunities to wear masculine clothes. And I think being able to wear a male uniform at school would be very empowered. I would genuinely enjoy wearing a masculine uniform because I think that it would represent me being able to express my gender, which I couldn't do with a feminine dress code, but I also wouldn't really be able to do with no uniform. I go to uni now and I can wear whatever I want every day, but it's not really socially acceptable for me to wear ties or, you know, a suit. Situations where there is a very strict dress code are really my only opportunities to do so. Like for example, a formal ball. This is kind of straying away from like school uniform now. This is more talking about in general dress 
dress codes. I don't have an opportunity really to express that side of me. I would like to have more opportunities to wear things like ties and dress shirts and blazers and things like that that I don't really get to in day-to-day -day life and that I only really get to in situations where a dress code is required. And sure, I could just, you know, wear a suit whenever the hell I want. I like having an opportunity to wear those clothes that is more socially acceptable. If there was no dress codes, I wouldn't really have those opportunities and the only times I would be able to would be if I really felt like it and I might feel a little bit out of place in those situations if that makes sense. I understand if someone doesn't really fit into either and doesn't really feel comfortable but I think that having a code like that isn't necessarily a bad thing as long as there are options for everyone and there are options for people who don't fit into really neat boxes of oh yeah I'm gonna wear this feminine dress and I'm gonna wear this masculine dress. So yeah I feel a bit weird about dress codes because on one hand I'm like I hate them and I wish that they didn't exist because I had to go through five years at least of dealing with a very feminine dress code that I couldn't do anything about but then on the other hand I'm like I really like wearing masculine clothes and a strict dress code is sort of my only real way to do that in my life at the moment so in some ways it's kind of validating it, it, I feel the same way about things that are inherently gendered like for example male deodorant I know that realistically deodorant is deodorant and people's armpits it like they don't have a gender so but I kind of like having a male deodorant because it just validates me a little bit I don't know and I know that sounds kind of problematic but I'm allowed to feel that way I'm allowed to feel validated by the things I buy and feel validated by things that are gendered if they're gendering me correctly. I wish there could be both. I wish there could be options that aren't gendered and dress codes that aren't gendered, but at the same time, I kind of like them being there, if that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go because my camera's done to fall off. As you can see, it's kind of like falling. Ooh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.